What's up guys and welcome to the 18th tutorial on my PHP backend and in this tutorial we're going to continue with the topic that we started in a previous one and uh, the first thing that we need to verify is that we have uh, rewrite modules enabled in Apache configuration and my configuration file is located at this point because I use MAMP but yours configuration file is probably going to be located somewhere else depending on what you uh, what kind of environment you have. So uh, in the Apache there is a file called httpd.conf and if we just have a look at how it looks it has all these kind of settings for for the server and uh, for example the port that is going to be using and also all the modules that are enabled that are enabled so what we're going to do is we're going to find rewrite modules in here and making sure that it's not uh, being commented out like this one is for example and I think it's pretty far down uh, mine is here rewrite module and of course you can just use uh, grep if you want to find it uh, immediately and just making sure that it's not commented out so as soon as you get that figure out let's continue with the implementation so at this point you should you should have a text string of the uh, URL variable and this is just the text string so what we want to do is we want to use a function called explode uh, that is basically a string split and we want to split it by the slash character so uh, let's do that so we don't need this part anymore, so we're going to use the the get variable and then making sure that it's set, of course. So we want to make sure that it's set and then the URL like this. And then we want to do everything that we've done here. So I'm going to copy paste that and I'm also going to remove this because we won't need it anymore. So instead of using the uh, the params here on the get variables, we want to use the stuff from the URL variable. <clears throat> so I'm going to create a new variable called route and I'm going to use the explode function uh, on slash and I want to use it on the get variable for URL and I'm also going to var dump it just so you can see how it looks at this point so yeah I get some uh, some kind of errors here as well and uh, <clears throat> the uh, uh, let's see let's see how it, it looks like hmm. So down here you can see uh, that we managed to split, you can, you can ignore everything else up here. So if you just look at this row down here, you see that the zeroth index, it has the controller name. And the first index, it has the action name. And then the second index has the for value. So I have like separated all of these into different indexes in the array. So we're going to use those for um, doing the routing instead. So now we don't need, actually we don't need any of this anymore. So I'm just going to delete it. And then we're going to replace uh, the controller name. So we're going to move, we need to move this up before. And then we're going to use the zeroth index in here. Like this, which will be the controller name. We can remove the var dump, and down here we're gonna use the first index, which will be the uh, the action name. But we also need to pass all the parameters to the function. For example, the when we want to get a color by ID, we need all the params for the actual action also and for that we can use a function called uh, 
array slice. And you can see a pretty good example here. You, you, you take the variable, the array that you have, and you also give it an index where you want to slice it. So if I give it the if I give it a two, it'll slice it on the second index. So it'll be this subarray that will be returned to me. So in our implementation, we're going to do it, do this on a route variable. So we're going to remove the controller name and then the action name, and then basically just take whatever is left. So I'm going to call the call the params. And then I'm going to give it the array, which is the route, and then a two for the second index. And it's getting passed here to, to the functions. So just save everything and try to see if it works. All right, so it seems to be working. I get a color red. We can try, try another one, see if we get another color, and we do. So the only thing we have to do is remove all, all the stuff that we we're echoing out. All right, so it works. So as you can see, we managed to get a little bit nicer routes and also managed to deal with parameters and stuff. And also we managed to separate everything into atomic components. Uh, or variables I should say. So at this point we can build any kind of routing that we want because currently we only have we only have the most basic routing we could just to make it understandable so you can follow along. But you can imagine how you can use pattern matching for mapping of controller name and action name and parameters to a action that we want to run in a controller uh, in a controller instance, so you can think a little about a bit about that and, and the pros and cons of different different uh, matching that you can you can do to make it uh, have a good interface for the consumer of the API. And I hope you guys liked it, and I'll see you on the next tutorial.